I'm gonna get a new campaign going now. Let's just let's get into the game. And if I need tutorials, we'll go to tutorials and do it to learn this stuff, alright? We're just gonna get this game going. Uh, world size, normal. Starting party and cargo, okay. Start. Give me a moment while I blow my nose. How very rude of me. I'm, I'm very sniffly today. <clears throat> Ugh, my goodness. Okay. Thank you. Uh, welcome to the world. Farm and harvest resources, build increasingly more complex production chains, and grow your workforce by recruiting animals and colonists. Note, currently there is no story or ultimate objective. Just explore the different biomes and enjoy the game. Currently, because this is early access, but I think that that is to come. Uh, okay, so, wow, we have all these different chains of islands, and we're going to start here in the Felid Island. Two castaways want to join your colony. Stranded goods, flat terrain, only basic resources, no enemy camps, tier one grasslands. Okay, that's where we're going to start. <laughs> Two castaways want to join. Okay, we already read that. Okay, that's all just repeating itself. That's fine. Okay, so here we are. If we've learned anything from the tutorial, is that we can unload things by going like that, 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 and that. Okay, everything's unloading now. And... Then we're going to want to start to build some stuff, right? Let's see what we can build here. Um, probably a basic bonfire is probably going to be what we want first, right? Just the basics. Where the hell is bonfire? There we go. What is this? This Okay, that's logistics. So bonfire is under logistics. And I'm going to build the basic bonfire over here to expand our territories. But if I'm going to expand our territories, then I need somebody who actually builds. Let's find our best builder. Let's see. You're at three. You're at four. Ooh, not bad. You're at three. Who else is there? There's you down here at two, two, and five. There we go. You are a builder. And you know what? Where was that number four as well? Because that's pretty good building. There we go. Number four. There we go. Let's get you guys to building. And speed up a little bit. Okay, so in addition to that bonfire, we're going to want to create some areas to store some stuff. What is this here? That's wheat. Okay. So, probably going to want to plant that. Make a farm area out of that, actually, probably. And these are strawberries. Okay. So, I'm going to start to gather some resources, but I'm going to want to make some stockpile zones first. So, I'm going to make a stockpile zone for... Wood right down here. And... So that's rock. Stone hammers. Wooden log. There we go. So I'm going to make that a wooden log. And then I'm going to assign some people to mining. So you're in level 2 mining. Level 2. Level 3. There we go. I'm going to get you on mining. And... Is there a quicker way for me to, like, select all of my people... Rather than just sort of trying to find them on colonist management. Here we go. Ah, here we go. This is perfect, actually. So, Dagny, Isintrude, Richland, Rutrude, Rumult, Siegfried, Theodard, and Volker. Okay, and... Tasks, here we go. So... The little squares, I'm trying to figure out what the squares mean, like the different types of squares. So, for instance, this square here seems to be pretty good compared to these empty ones, and that's Isintrude. So, if I find Isintrude on the map, is this Isintrude? It is. Then, okay, so that's a level 5 at farm work. So let's look at Isintrude one more time. Was that farm work? Th that was. Okay. So this means that they're good at this job. So then I'm going to click all of the good stuff. There we go. Just for now. This is kind of like setting priorities in RimWorld a little bit. Okay. So now I'm going to start to harvest some stuff. Cutting down some trees and whatnot. There we go. Let's just cut down all these trees. There we go. And we've got our... Yep, we've got our stockpile zone right there. 
which is going to fill up awfully quick, and I may want to expand that a little bit. But we can also make our workshop, too. So let's actually begin doing that. We're going to make our first basic workplace, and I'm going to put it next to this area. But I have a stupid strawberry in the way, and I don't have a stockpile zone for the strawberry yet, so I should probably make that. Strawberry zone. Let's make it right here. There we go, and... We're going to... I'm trying to remember how to... Oh, you know what? I think I need to make a farm area in order to actually make the strawberries be there. I think I could just fight... Can I just type in strawberry? I can! Okay, so... Strawberries, there we go. Make that for strawberries. Okay, cool. And we're already putting strawberries there. And we're chopping- perfect. Okay, that's exactly what I wanted you to do. So now I can actually make my workshop there. My basic workplace. Okay, so basic workplace will go right there. And then we'll make these logs into boards. But I'm going to need a stockpile zone for those boards. So I'm going to do like that. And let's see, I'm going to left click, right click, right? There we go. And... Then I'm going to want to put boards there. There we go. Board. Perfect. And I'm going to want somebody assigned to this, right? So, who is... And these people, it looks like they want houses. So, I'm going to need to make some houses soon. All right. I'm going to need to assign somebody to this workshop, though. Let's see. Who... Let's see. The, the, the workshop... Ah, this is it right here. So, we're going to want to find somebody who's really good at workshopping. And this is the basic workplace, so these two are our best bets for workshopping. There we go. Dagny and Isintrude. We'll get them over there, getting that done. And while that's happening, let's look into building some homes for people, huh? Nice house, stone wall, basic house. So a basic house is going to be boards and stone blocks. So we're going to need to start getting some stone blocks for some people. Yeah, and the rain's coming, so that's just really poopy. Um, I'm going to get one more stockpile zone. And that's going to be for the stone, all right? And, oh, you know what I think I need to do is I need to um, left click, right click. There we go. So that they can pull this to make the boards. And then I'm going to want to make this place for stone blocks. Oh, come on. Block. There you go. Any more RimWorld coming soon? Um, you know, I was just thinking about going back into RimWorld the other day. Um, I posted a lot of it to my channel before, and some people got a little burned out that I was posting so much RimWorld. Uh, but I definitely want to go back and play some, because I've been missing that game quite a bit. I love RimWorld so much. I kind of burnt myself out a little bit, though, too, because I played a lot of RimWorld. And I sort of needed a break, but I think that it's been long enough at this point. Okay, so who is it that I have? I have um, Isintrude and... Okay, so Isintrude, I'm going to take you off of... Actually, you can still be on building. I'm going to take you off of farming because you are on workshop. So Isintrude, you should be workshopping now, right? So if I click there, click there. So why are you not building right now? Oh, you know what? Because I didn't actually set production. That's why. Okay. There we go. Could I play some more Islanders? Yeah, I've been thinking about going back to that one too. People really liked Islanders. And uh, that game, it's simple, but it's a ton of fun. So, yeah, I think that there's definitely um, the possibility of me to play more Islanders. Try to beat my high score. Oh, I need to get a well, and I need to get some food going. I don't really have a farm yet, so we should definitely get that going. Okay, so while we're building the boards and stuff, let's do a well. We're going to need a basic well, and then we're going to need to get... Let's see, well. A farm going as well. So let's put the well right here. There we go. And, hey, St. Shigami, 40 months, you guys, 4-0 in a row at Tier 3, nonetheless, you guys. St. Shigami, 
Mm. Hey, Rick, dropping this one for you. Love you, man. Thank you, Shane Shigami. You guys, drop some bears. Drop the most royal of those bears. Uh, and drop some hype, too. Thank you so much, Shigami. That means the world to me. It really does. Okay, I'm going to get a water place. Okay, so it's not enough just to build the uh, well. We need to actually... Is that water? That's water. We have to have somebody actually on water harvesting duty. So let's get somebody who's not doing too much on this. Let's see. You're not really doing too much here. You can actually start to get some water. There we go. Let's get you doing well work. And you, that's a number two on well. Who's really good at doing well work? Let's see. Actually, everybody seems to be like level two. There we go. Let's just get that going. And so if I left click, right click, there we go. You should put the water from there into there. Perfect. And then now we need to get a farm going. So you know what? I initially said that this was going to be strawberries, but... Now I'm thinking I need to demolish you. How do I delete? Uh, there we go. Clear zone. There we go. Get rid of that zone. And I'm going to have you guys chop down the rest of these strawberries. There we go. And then we'll build a farm up. So the farm is going to go... We'll put it next to the wheat here. There you go. That's a pretty big farm. And we're going to grow strawberries because that's a good starting crop, apparently. So strawberries will go there, and then we'll need a storage zone for those strawberries. And I'm going to put that storage zone right here. There we go. And click that. Put it like that. Should store the strawberries there. There we go. Storing those strawberries. And I should make a farm zone here, too, for the wheat because we've already got wheat here. Why the heck not? But we'll do that momentarily. We're starting to get boards. We're starting to get blocks here. Are you going to pick up DBQ? Not for YouTube or stream, but just for your personal gaming. I know Jazz is obsessed right now, as most people are. Oh, uh, Dragon Quest Builder? Mmm. I... I've been wanting to. Yeah. Um, geez, I don't have time to play it right now, but I really want to. It looks really great. Uh, okay, so now I've got some boards and I've got some blocks, so let's see what we can do about building some houses now. Let's see. Basic house. Okay, so I can start to build some basic houses. Let's see. Can I flip you? Is there a way to rotate basic houses? It's not Q&E, which is what you would think it would be. There's got to be a way to rotate this, right? There's got to be. Hmm. Well, I'm not sure how to rotate them just yet. I'm going to place my first house here. I wonder how many people can sleep in a house. Does fires not happen in this game? I have no idea. I hope not. We'll see, though. Jeez. I really hope fires don't happen. Okay, so we've got plenty of water here stored up. And, oh. I should have people on farming, right? I'm pretty sure I've got people on farming. Let's see. I've got one person on farming. I should have Isentrude on farming as well. And you know what? Volker, you're okay at farming. As So is Rotroud, though. So there we go. You guys are on farming as well. What's the goal of this game? The goal of this game is to build and expand, and eventually there's going to be combat involved as well. And you're going to recruit people. You're going to jump from island to island as you explore. Okay, so there we go. We've got our house now, so... Okay, this is how many inhabitants can live in a regular house, which it seems like there's plenty of room for our people to be living and sleeping and stuff, so. Or maybe not, because you're saying house. Like, you, you want a house, but... So, g go inside, man. I built a house. There's totally a house for you now. Maybe this is a place for future colonists? I want information on this. Product encyclopedia. Let's see. Hold on. Uh, basic house. Here we go. Place uh, Places four. Okay, so there is only room for four. Even though there are all of these icons here, a basic house can only house four. So we're going to need to build another house if we want other places for our people. There we go. So we have one, two, three. Four. So we're probably going to need three houses total. So I'll get one more going. There we go. 
three houses. And we're going to want to expand, too, because we're going to need more stone here. I think that we've used a lot of the stone. And we're going to need more trees and stuff, too. So in order to expand, we're going to want to build another bonfire to expand our territory. So I'm going to put the bonfire... I wonder if I need to build, like, ladders and stuff to get up to these higher grounds. Why is rain, uh... Bad in this game? I don't know yet. There's still a lot of stuff to figure out. Okay, so if we look up here, we have 12 houses. 4, 8, 12. Uh, we have plenty of food so far. Um, we've got enough water. We have two idle colonists, so we should actually look into that. You are idle, huh? Yeah, you're not doing too much. I should put you on mining, and I should put you on farming to have you do stuff. Oh, you know what? Actually, I should put you on workshop because, yeah, we should definitely have you on workshop and mining too. Why the hell not? There we go. And who else is idle? You are idle. Okay. Um, have you on workshop as well and power. Okay. We don't have power yet. Okay. If, if I go out too far. This is the, the map view I get if I roll out too far with the mouse wheel. Um, okay, why are you guys not building the bonfire? I know I definitely have people on build, right? Do I not have the resources? I probably don't... Okay, I probably need logs, and you know what? I probably don't have logs because I need to chop down trees. Okay. Chop those trees down. Oh, you know what? It looks like you are using... Okay. I need to prioritize, because what they're doing is they're using the logs for boards before I have a chance to... Uh... Sockpiles and workshops with high priority are used first. Sockpiles and workshops with higher priority are used first. Okay. Um... Interesting. They're using the logs before I actually have a chance to build the fire. So I need to figure out a way to move that. Can I just, you know what? I'm just going to turn this off for now until we get that sorted out. Okay. And I'm thinking now this is maybe only going to here. So, I almost need a second stockpile zone. If I were to make a stockpile zone, say, just a small one right here, and then put logs in it, and then... Let's see what happens. Why are you not building this fire? I mean, I definitely have people on building. This is construction. Why are they not building the fire? Um, awaiting construction. Construction will begin as soon as a colonist is available. W why is no colonist available? Huh. This is... Confusing. Like, you're on... Construction. You should definitely be doing this. Okay, I'm going to delete that and re remake it, maybe? Let's see. Come on now. Okay, I'm... Hmm... I'm a little confused. Um, why is it not working exactly? I need stone? Okay. I mean, okay. Well, how am I supposed to get stone? I can't mine this stone because it's outside of my radius. 
And I have no stone in here. So... Am I just screwed? Can I... If I were to... Delete this... Okay, I would get some stone. So, I'm going to... Tell them not to make stone block here. Okay, they are actually bringing those supplies over here. So, I think they are going to build this now. Okay. There we go. And I'm curious about... Like, making stone blocks and stuff because... Is there, like, a limit I can put on it? Because I don't want them to use all of the stone block for making... Or all the stone for stone blocks, you know? Or all of the, the logs for boards. I would like them to only make a certain amount. But I, as far as I know, I can't put a limit on that sort of thing. Hmm. Stockpiles and workshops with a higher priority are used first. Okay. So... Okay, alright. I'm just gonna move along. Just gonna move along. Try not to get too sidetracked by this. Okay, so we can actually mine this stuff now, so let's go ahead and mine it. There we go. And... Start to take these trees down as well. And while we still can, let's just go ahead and build our... What the what? Come on. Let's build ourselves another bonfire. Right up this way. There we go. So it looks like we have plenty of food. Strawberries and water. Looks to be good. And... Plenty of houses. We have four people idle. That's not good. Um, there we go. Nobody's idle now. Oh, whoa, there's a chest here. What's this? Can't be mined for random goods. Okay, cool. Let's get that chest. Water's out. Oh, water is outside the bonfire range. Good eye. Okay, because I took out that bonfire, which means that I need to replace that bonfire. So, let's do that real quick. There we go. And, whoa, there's two more chests. Holy butts. Okay, I'm just going to keep expanding here. Keep on placing those bonfires. So, one more bonfire here, and you know what? One more bonfire right up here. Expand the heck out of this place. Okay, so now our water is in range. Good, and... Let's mine these chests here. Let's see what the heck's inside of here. And this one, too. Oh, look at this. There's like a little uh, oasis here. Cute. Okay. Get this going here. And... Let's see what else we can build. I'm going to slow things down a little bit. So we've got our bonfire. We can build a big bonfire. We've been building these small bonfires. A big bonfire would probably be better. Um, depot. Horse station. You know, we have all these cows. I feel like we should start to figure out... A Look at this. We can build zeppelins and stuff eventually. I feel like we should start to figure out a way to... Use these cows here. Oh, basic barn. Here, a place for your animals to rest. Perfect. We need to get harvested wheat, so let's figure out a way to uh, get this wheat here. We're going to want a storage area for the wheat. So, first thing I'm going to do is harvest it. There we go. Let's harvest the wheat, and then we're going to store the wheat. For now, we'll do it right next to these strawberries. All right. And we'll make this for wheat. There we go. And then once they harvest this out, I'm going to build another farm right here for the wheat. Ashley Cramney, 100 bits. Hi, Rick. Glad to catch your stream. Glad you could be here. Thank you, guys. Drop some bike shorts for Ashley. That's very sweet of you. Thanks for hanging out. All right. Um, let's expand a farming area of equal size to the strawberries. There we go. And we'll do wheat right here. Perfect. And storing that wheat right there. We're probably going to need to convert that wheat into another kind of food. I doubt we're going to eat just raw wheat. But we are going to need wheat to make a place for our animals. So, basic barn. We have the stuff to make that. Okay, oh, it's just a tiny little barn. 
And I would really love to learn how to rotate these. Because rotating the camera in the game is Q and E. But to actually rotate the building, it's not the mouse wheel, because that zooms. Oh, it's R. Perfect. Okay, great. So I'm going to place it right here. There we go. A basic place for animals to sleep. So we'll see how many cows will fit in there. And we'll just build some little sleeping areas. Is it fishing possible as a food source? I assume it is. I would have to assume it is, too. Uh, eventually, we should be able to have access to getting some fishies. Okay, so we've built ourselves... It's strange that there is a fire just inside of the barn. I, I'm... Okay, and then four animals can be in here, too. We have way more than four, though. So we're going to need to build ourselves, like, one more barn, at least. At least one more barn. I'm going to do barn here, and you know what? We'll build it here. Can I build... Oh, there we go. I can build you... Thank you, iTubix, for that brand new subscription. Another brand new subber, you guys. Drop some bears. Thank you, iTubix. Uh, I'm going to bump this fire back a little bit. And you know what? I'm curious about the big fires, the big bada boom fires. So I'm going to build that one here and see how that works. Okay, so that takes boards and stone blocks in order to make. Gotcha. There we go. So that's a big old fire, which means that I should be able to take this fire apart now. Perfect. And then I will go ahead and build our second basic barn right next to the first. Right there. Cute. And... How do I undo... There we go. That's how I undo. Okay, perfect. I didn't want them taking the logs from there and moving them to there anymore. Alright, I'm gonna start chopping down some more trees while we're waiting. There we go. And some more strawberries. There we go. Okay, so... How do I actually put the cows in here? Like, you cow. A peaceful... Oh, you know what? Animal not tamed. I haven't actually tamed these animals yet. So I've got a place for them to sleep, but they are not yet our cows. These are wild cows, you guys. 30 to 50 feral cows on our farm. Um, pasture. Ah! Can be a site on fertile soil and collect and house uh, neutral animals. Okay. So, this would be a good area up here, actually, for a pasture. Or right here, next to the farms, actually. So, let's see. If I wanted to make a pasture area, like... Right there. Wait a minute. Can I get this gone? I, I don't like the look of that. I don't like the look of that at all. There we go. Perfect. And let's try that one more time. Perfect. Okay, there we go. So now we've got a pasture area for cows. There we go. So if I made a pasture area for cows, how do I actually tame those cows is the question. I probably need people who are capable of taming cows, first off. We'll look into that. Sherbert Smothers but 200 bits. Um, 30 to 50 feral unicorn bits for your farm. Thank you so much. I love it. Well, that was 200. So that was 30 to 50 feral unicorn bits times, like, you know, four to six. Thank you. You guys, drop some bike shorts. Um, as far as animal taming goes... If I... Warning. Possible problems with workshops. No, oh, yeah, that's right. I uh, took off stone block and... Uh, let's see. Where is the... Where's my boards? Select product. Okay. There we go. Wooden board. There we go. Make me some more stone blocks and some more wooden boards. And... There's two more... Let's see, farm. What's the farm doing? No outputs. Oh, no output stockpile. Okay. Um, there we go. Wait, come on. There we go. And there's still one more. Oh, we actually have cows in here. Warnings indicate uh, output stockpiles don't accept products. Okay. Uh, so what do we need? What's the output? Is it milk? It's probably milk, right? And can I put these little guys inside the houses? How do, how do I do that? 
Oh, you know what? I bet you the barns need to be inside of the uh, the grazing areas. I'm just now realizing. So I'm going to undo these barns. There we go. And expand our grazing area a little bit. In which case, I am going to move this big bonfire up here. Where it sort of was before. So I'm going to... Yeah, here we go. Big bonfire. I'm going to put it here. Then I'm going to delete this to expand our grazing area over here. And then build a barn. Because now we got some cows. Here we go. Undo that. Beautiful. Okay, so now if I expand our little area up to... Oh, we have to get rid of some stuff apparently. These little... Nubbins. I think these are little strawberry nubbins right here. Little strawberry nubbins and expand like that. Okay, now let's try to put a barn inside of here. So, like so. There. Oh, actually, no, never mind. How do I house you in there? Okay, it's not that important. Here we go. We'll, we'll figure that out. I want to have a, a barn house for you guys, all right? But for now, I'll be happy with just having you guys in here, okay? that That's good. Um, oh, and then we still need the output area for the milk. So I would imagine that's what they want is the stockpile for milk. So I'm going to put you right here. And then we're going to click, click. There we go. And that warning should go away. Yep, it's milk. It's milk. What's the warning? There's still one more warning, and I don't know what the warning is for. Okay. Anyhow, uh, what else can we build now, guys? So we've got... I mean, we know how to build the basic barn, but uh, apparently we're not building... Stone walls, torches, table. When exhausted, settlers will sit on... Oh! We'll sit on tables and relax. Okay, so we should build some of those. Give our settlers a place to chill out. Um... Yeah, we'll build it right there. Perfect. What can you do with a cliff? That is a good question. I need to figure out if there's a way to build stairs or something up there. And, uh... Okay, good. There you go. You guys are gonna relax. You guys are socializing. Fantastic. Alright, good stuff. Looks like we got plenty of food and stuff. We have all this wheat. I feel like we should figure out a way to make that wheat into something that we can eat. Uh, there's a brewery. Used to produce beer, tea, and other types of drinks. Okay. So, there's a bakery as well. Bakery is going to be stone blocks and wooden part. Okay. Let's build the brewery. Alright. I'm going to build a brewery right... Right over here. Right next to the houses. There we go. Build a brewery. I bet you that we can use the wheat in order to make some, some burr. Hey, what's up, Anna? Hello. Y'all, Sharky Anna, up in chat. If you guys aren't following, go do it. You may recognize Anna as a uh, headless skeleton from the smash hit The Skeleton Series, new to our YouTube channel. If you guys haven't seen it yet, go check it out. All right? It is all the rage. Uh, okay, so... I'm making the boards and stuff. I'm going to stop making the boards right now because I don't want to run into the situation where I'm just making too many boards. And there's still a lot of stuff over here to mine. So I'm just going to start getting all of this stuff out from here. There we go. And as far as getting up to this plateau, let's see what we can do to do that. Track construction tool. Um, okay, foundation, pier, training dummy, treadmill. Hmm... Basic work. Kiln. What's the kiln do? Bricks and charcoal. Okay. Textile workplace. Wooden boards. Can be crafted. Cotton and wool. All right. Um, I'm not seeing like stairs, which is what I would like to find in order to get up here. Horse station, depot, filter, inserter, overhead station, train factory, shipping port. No, that's not it. Uh,. Ancient temple. What is that? Whoever's built this structure has long gone. What? Um, 
Yeah, I don't know how to get up there just yet. Hopefully, we'll figure that out. Maybe I can't right now. Wait, oh, they're mining the cliff? That's how I get up. Holy butts. Yes, they are. They are mining the cliff. Look at them go. Okay, well, that answers that. So, okay, we're just going to mine this entire cliff is what we're going to do. There we go. That'll keep them busy. All right. Perfect. And look at all the cows that I'm getting now. I'm getting all sorts of cows. And there's two alerts. Okay, yeah, I'm not doing anything there. I'm aware of that. And then, the, oh, the brewery. We're not actually brewing anything yet. Um, beer is going to be water and wheat. And then tea, harvested flowers. We can't do that yet. Here we go. We're going to make some beer. Making that beer. I'm going to need a stockpile zone for my beer, though. So let's do a just a little stockpile zone right here. And we'll go boop, boop. There we go. Put that beer right in there. Uh, oh, inventory targets, by the way. So we want to get some wooden logs and we want to get some milk. Okay, so those are the inventory targets that we have. Cool. Um, oh, and by the way, there is sort of a way to get them to stop producing stuff, right? And that is to fill up the storage areas, right? So they won't produce more items than they have space for. So that's sort of reassuring. And as far as my bonfires go, I should just, I think, replace all of the small bon bon uh, bonfires with large bonfires. So I think that I can just build a big bonfire on this side. And you can sort of see the area of effect of it. So if I put it here, then that should give us coverage for the rest of the island. And then I can take apart these smaller bonfires that I don't really need anymore. Holy butts. What did we... Okay, so that's clay. We have a ton of clay. So I should have a stockpile zone for clay at this point. Let's figure that out. Stockpile zone. All right. We're going to put the clay... We'll put it over here next to these uh, boards here. So clay, 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 clay. There we go. Boom. We'll store clay there. Looks like everybody's sleeping now. Okay. Okay. I still have two... Wait, what's this? Output stockpile doesn't accept the product. Oh, I haven't actually put beer yet. There we go, beer. Now it accepts it. And... No colonists assigned. Okay, we need a brewer. Hmm. Who's good at brewing? Let's find out. People? What would brewing be? That wouldn't be power. Would that be... What would that be under, do you think? Would... Do you think that'd be farm work? No, it wouldn't be farm work because nobody's... Just, oh, it, it's actual building. I keep forgetting tasks and workshops, two separate things. So I actually need to assign somebody to the brewery. Um, it looks like we have two people, Theodard and Eisentrude, who are the best at brewing. So we'll put them on that. Okay, so now we have no little uh, warnings here, which is good. And it doesn't look like too many people are idle at the moment either. Looks like people have plenty to do. We build the other big bonfire so we can take apart the other small ones and take back those resources that we needed. There we go. And we have so many resources now, y'all. So many resources. All right, I'm going to slow things down a little bit so we can actually just take a breath and catch our, you know, catch up with our thoughts and whatnot. So, we've achieved the milk inventory target. Now we just need to get to 50 wooden logs, which I think we're going to be able to do. We've got all of these logs chopped down. We've expanded out this way. I can go ahead and open this chest here now. And we can collect all of this stuff here too. And we can start expanding up this way. So I'm going to... You know, I think that we can probably take apart this fire now. This has expanded quickly, right? It has. I'm starting to get a feel for everything a little bit better now in the game. It's starting to make more sense. Because it is... I mean, a lot of games like this are pretty complex. This game is no exception. But I am starting to understand it a lot better now. Okay. Oh, you know what? The ship... Is this unloaded? It is. Okay. So, everything is unloaded. We, we aren't currently... We don't have access to the ship at the moment. I feel like I should build just one little bonfire just so we have access to it. There we go. I'll build it right there next to the well. And we're going to build another bonfire up here so we can expand farther up this way. And... Okay, so the new inventory target is going to be tomatoes. 
And we have not grown tomatoes yet, so I'm going to need a farm area for tomatoes. I will make the farm area right here. That's going to be our tomato farms. And we're going to need a stockpile area for the tomatoes. Uh, I'm just going to make a long, skinny stockpile area right over here. Okay. Actually, here, we'll, yeah, we'll just put it right next to it. That's fine. There you go. Delete that. This will be our tomato stockpile area. I will go tomato. Right there. Tomatoes. And plop, plop. And for there, we're going to have tomatoes. There we go. Cool. So now we'll grow those tomatoes. And... How many wooden logs do we have at the moment? It looks like all the wooden logs are being stored there. Are we not storing wooden logs here or what? I guess we are. We just... Okay. There's tons of wooden logs that need to be stored over here. Just haven't been stored yet. I think it's because they're all moving to clay first. Which is fine. Your tomato farm is a... So oh, it is. You're right. You're totally right. My tomato farm is a stockpile zone. I have a stockpile... A giant stockpile of tomatoes. Going to another stockpile of tomatoes. There we go. That's the tomatoes. There we go. There we go. And now I boop boop like that. And tomatoes is still there. Perfect. Okay. So now we've got our tomatoes. We're looking on getting five tomatoes now. That is our next target objective. And look at this. There's just this little cliff area that I haven't mined yet. Here we go. Let's get rid of you. And we've expanded up this way now. There are pigs now, guys. We have access to piggies. Uh, fantastic. I wish that when I scrolled out that far, it wouldn't automatically go to this map. That is a little bit irksome. I mean, not a total deal breaker, but a, a little irksome. Okay, so, okay, look! The cows can actually leave this, this area. So, that's good to know. Which means that if I were to build a farm area, a basic barn, that they would probably stay there. So, I'm gonna build a basic barn over here. Like that, and like that. There we go. Have a couple basic barns for my animals. Hopefully that means they'll sleep there. I think they just go in here during the daytime in order to be milked and whatnot. We'll see. There's still some stuff to learn. And as far as things to build, we have all of this space now to build. So let's consider what else we have to build now. So we've got the barns going. We've got basic houses. Stone walls, we can get beach chairs and decorative shrines. Okay, that's going to be brick. Okay, we're going to need to make brick. I feel like that's probably the next thing up. And that's going to require a kiln, right? So where is the kiln? There we go. Kiln. So we're going to need brick and charcoal in order to start producing this kiln. Wait, no, not brick and charcoal. Because the kiln makes brick, right? I shouldn't need... Okay, we need stone block. And it will produce brick and charcoal. That's what it's going to do. So... If I were to put the kiln here, let's see about that. You still got some clay to be stored and more wood for storage. I do. How do I actually get them to move it? Um, oh, they, they actually can't store this clay because there's no place for it. The clay is totally full. And the wood for storage, they're picking up now. They're actually starting to store the wood over here. They're not picking up this clay, though, because there's no place for them to store it. Okay, so we have our kiln now, finally, and we can produce brick or charcoal. Okay, so brick is going to require charcoal. So first, we're going to need to make the charcoal. All right, so in order to do that, we're going to need a place to store the bricks. So let's do that real quick. We're going to do a... Okay, brick storage area right here, and let's do... Like that to that, and then we're going to want brick, so I'm going to type... Actually, we're going to want charcoal first, so this is going to be charcoal. Right there. Oh. I'm using a backup headset because I forgot my regular headset in the studio, and I forgot how these old headsets just crunch down on your ears. Ooh, Causes so much discomfort. There we go. Um, okay, so we're going to put charcoal there, and then we're going to have another storage area here. Actually, I'm going to expand this storage area. That's what I'm going to do. There we go. So that's going to be charcoal. And then this is going to be brick. There we go. 
And then I'm going to take the logs from here, and we'll use this for actually making the charcoal. And then also we'll take this clay from here. There we go. And that's what we'll use for our bricks. Okay. And then I need to assign somebody to this area. So let's go to my peeps real quick. And let's find the kiln. Kiln right here. So who's good at kilning? Dagny is good at kilning. As is Rumult and Volker. Volker I don't feel like is doing a ton right now. So I'm going to have you actually on this. And oh and I have. Wait. Haven't I? There we go. Now I have charcoal selected. Fantastic. Okay. Oh yeah, how is the frog tiki bar coming? <laughs> you know, we have this big pot outside with all these pretty plants and flowers. And I feel like that is the frog tiki bar because every time I go onto my patio, there are always little tiny frogs in there. Uh, I actually took pictures of how tiny the frogs are and I'll post them to Twitter. I wonder if I could just show you on my phone. I wonder if that'll work because these frogs are so frigging tiny. All right, I'm going to slow this down real quick and just show you these frogs, because they are the tiniest and the cutest. Uh, I wonder if this is going to work. Wait, where am I? There we go. There's the tiny frog. Okay. Um, I'm going to try and hold this up. Can you guys see that? Yeah, you can see that. Okay, so that's a tiny frog. It's hard to tell just how tiny it is, but it's sitting on the ledge of this pillar outside of my house, and... There's another picture of it. That is... It's like the size of a dime. That's how small it is. It's very, very cute. And they're everywhere. And I think I found out that they aren't actually frogs. I'm pretty sure they are toads. But they're baby toads. And they're very cute. Very, very cute. I love them. That's one of the ones that fell on my head. Little tiny guy. Fell right on my head. Boop. As I walked out of my door last week. Uh, one serving 20 legs. Oh... That's just... I couldn't imagine. Okay, so it doesn't seem like my animals are resting here. Or maybe they're just not resting here at the moment. But it does show inhabitants here. In my house. So, it's hard to say. It's hard to say. We're, we're going to take a look later on. I'm not sure if they're really sleeping in the barn or not. It's hard to tell. Uh, let's get some more trees, though. Because I am going to need more logs and whatnot. There we go. Get those logs going. Chop down all those trees. There we go. And... So now that I have some charcoal, I should be able to make some bricks. So if I go brick like that, there we go. Bricks are now being made. Now I'm making charcoal and I'm making bricks. So start to store some of these bricks here. And... Hopefully that means I can start to make other things. Do you have a way of replanting trees because you may... Yes, need them later. I I should. Okay, I can make a grove. Can be assigned on fertile soil to allow your colonists to grow trees. There you go. So, I guess this is fertile soil. It's hard to tell. Um, I don't know what fertile soil is yet, but let's make this a tree growing area. Hmm? There we go. And so, I will plant... Um, let's see. Pine tree versus oak tree. So, oak tree takes 400 seconds to grow. Um, and it uses water. Growth at nighttime doesn't grow at night. And can be mined for two wooden logs. Okay, pine trees, however, take 150 seconds to grow. But I only get one wood log. So they grow a lot quicker. I get less wood from them. And they do grow at night as well. So I'm going to do pine trees. There we go. We're going to grow pine trees. Oh, bam! I just... I won. So I achieved what we wanted to do for that area, okay, this island. So now we can actually leave the island and move on to the next one.